Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And one day last week on Facebook, somebody asked how to uh, how people attach picture frames or plaques. And we came up with a sawtooth uh, picture frame holder that I use a lot that I cut out on the laser with scraps. But somebody suggested using to go into find a woodworker and using a keyhole keyhole slot. And this is what a just to give you a little information, this is a keyhole router bit. It actually uh, goes down to the wood, and then you it's got cutters on the bottom, and then it's got cutters on the edge, and then you move it in the direction to make a keyhole. And this is a really good way to do it, but I'm a pretty experienced woodworker, and I wouldn't work on a picture frame for hours or a plaque and then have a chance of making of messing this up. So I thought, well, I, and also they were doing it on a quarter inch piece of wood. So you couldn't do that on a quarter inch piece of wood because you need at least like a half of an inch piece of wood. So I came up with the idea to just show people how to make a keyhole slot with your laser. So this would be the top side that would be facing out of the picture. This would be your interior part. And what I do like about this over the other saw horse or, or sawtooth slot, this has a lot of glueable surface on your plaque or your picture frame so you've got a it's a little bit stronger now the only disadvantage is in it is that whoever's hanging the picture has to put the nail or the screw through that hole and then this would be in the picture this is ultra strong don't get me wrong but it's going to be a little bit harder to hang than a sawtooth but i thought i'd show you could make this real easily out of scrap and if you were going to use a screw, you might want to double up this interior layer. Now, what I do like about these, you could have a bunch of these ready during a slow period of your day or you're waiting for something. You could glue a bunch of these up and have them ready. But it's real simple to draw out, so I thought I'd just show. I'm just going to make a, a box. And for, for the video, I'm going to make it four inches long by, let's make it two inches wide. I'm going to press P and put it in the center of the page. I am going to round off the corners just so it it will look a little bit better. It won't have any sharp corners. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of that, Control D, and I'm going to bring in that duplicate, and then I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and it puts it in the center. Now, as you can see, I've got a little bit more on the outside than I do on the inside, so you can very easily stretch this. Doesn't have to be perfect anyway. But there's your frame. There's your outside or your underside piece. Control D and make a duplicate of that. Take away our interior part. You've got the identical piece. Take your eclipse tool and just draw you a, perf a, a circle. Hit P on the keyboard. Hold it down the control button. Move it over to one side or the other. Take your rectangle tool and just kind of make you a rectangle smaller than your hole. Press P on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and make it rounded corners too so it looks a little more professional. We could actually, well that's really pretty good. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Now I would also take this and lasso it and weld it. Now this is all one piece. That would be really, really strong. Now on my particular one, I actually grouped this together. I'm a little bit overkill. I'm going to group these together. Well, I don't have to group them together. I'm just going to hit P on the keyboard. And now I can see, I see, I see a little bit of a problem because my interior part is hanging over. So we're going to just grab that interior part. Well, let's just move this out of the way. Let's set our nudge factor on, it's on 1.5. Let's just move that out of the way for a second. Let's grab this box and just make it a little bit bigger. Because your strength is in, uh, you know, whatever you have left over. Press P on the P keyboard, and now you can see that you're good to go. Now, with that said, 
I made mine a little bit stronger. Let's move this out of the way. Let's zoom in here so you can see it. Let's get on this and let's convert it to a curve. Now let's take our shape tool and get pretty close. Well, let's, let's convert all these nodes to a curve right up here. You can also left click that or right click it with your mouse. Then just grab that line and just bring it in a little bit. What's this doing is going to give you more glueable surface. So let's see how it looks now. We'll bring this back in P on the keyboard. And that would be very strong. It won't get in. Let's say if this is a the nail head that you're going to put in the, into that slot or a screw head. Let's make it black. Then when you move that nail, you can see that it's not getting any way of your inner surface. And if you put that about in the middle, that'll be good and solid and stable. And that only holds it from the bottom and holds it from the top. Anyway, that's another idea for making a picture frame or a plaque holder. You can cut this out of, uh, I, I use only eighth inch plywood on these because plywood is going to be stronger than any other eighth inch solid wood because of the plies and the glue is going structurally it's just stronger and it's cheap. And you've always got, or you should, if you use any kind of plywood, you always got scraps laying around. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.